So a couple of videos back, I was complaining about not having a thermal imaging camera. Well, Top Don, send this one. Let's open it up. Okay, excellent. Has a little carrying pouch. So this is their TC01. This is the Android edition, so it has a USB-C connector. And I think the really neat thing about this particular model is it's high resolution. So it has 256 by 192 pixels. I was looking at one from FLIR that does basically the same thing. It attaches to your phone or your mobile device. And it had much lower resolution. It comes with like a, a USB cable. So you, could, you can actually plug this into your PC as well. So I guess you would plug that in and then plug this into your PC. All right, well, let's try to find their app. There it is, the TC001. So let's install that guy. Okay, so let's do thermal imaging. So it wants us to connect. And, well, looks like I'm not gonna be able to keep my case on because it's not, doesn't allow it to go all the way in. All right, let's try that again. Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, okay, check that. So that's the window. This uh, middle piece right here, the hot spot is the window. Let's see what. Oh uh, yeah, we can see everything outside. You can see my pool right there. That's probably the coolest part outside. This orange area right there, that is the area that the sun that is this area where the sun's beating down, and this area right here is an area that's shaded. Oh, we can look at these solar panels right here. Oh, it's so bright. They are hot. You see there's like a kind of a hot spot right there, and that's where there's dirt on the panel. Well, very neat. Yeah, I know what we can do. Let's see if we can get something warm. That cable right there is what's coming from the charge controller. On um, the charge controller itself is pretty warm. It's showing 40C. That cable is showing pretty much 40C. And that's the front of the air conditioner. Inverter's relatively cool compared to everything else. You can see. Sorry, it's hard to get these cam the camera lined up with this thing. This is uh, the terminal. That's the terminal on the inverter. You can see it's getting... It's not... It looks like it's warm, but it's really not. It's just showing that it's different from everything else. It's... Uh, what is it? Showing 38 Celsius right there. And then the inverter body itself is like 34.9. The charge controller is definitely the hottest item. So you can see my wiring for hooking up the batteries. And I do have four batteries hooked up at the top here now. And uh, so let's look at those and see if we're getting thermal things going on. Yeah, nothing really going on there. Kind of what I would expect. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the load is being shared between so many different batteries. So I've only got two hooked up down here. Let's see what we got. Anything. You got nothing on this battery. Nothing really heating up on those bus bars. Let's come back and look at this. Yeah, we can see the wiring going to the inverter is getting hotter now. It's at 40, 41, 42. That's our main 175 amp fuse, nothing nothing going on there, super cool. This guy right here. Yeah, I think that the, the relay is just, yeah, the relay is just a little warm because, you know, it's active. It's got a coil in there. Let's look at this dirty spot again. You definitely can see those cells. Can you see those two cells? Those two cells that's cover, that the dirty spot is covering are, are much warmer than everything else. 
We're showing 78C, 80C, and everything else is like 61C. Look at what that does. Wow, so you, yeah, that's so bad for your solar panels. Just those little shaded dirty spots. Let's clean those off. Okay, so I've got these cleaned off and let's take a look at the camera. So we don't see that spot right there any longer. But I am noticing something. You see that? There's one in the, let's see, where is that at? It's like three up from the bottom and three from the side. And it's clean. So that one is showing uh, 53. And the others are showing 42. So there's something wrong with that cell, guys. <laughs> so that would be one, two, three. It'd be that cell right there. Right? No, it'd be this cell right here. So that's, uh, what was it, three? from the bottom and three from the side. So this cell right here is hotter than everything else around it. I can actually feel it. This, you can feel it. That's hot. That's nowhere near as hot. There's a bump cell right there. Wow. Look at that. You can see it easily. Let's check out this other panel. Sorry if there's a glare. These all look pretty uniform. Yeah. Let's take a look at this one again. Yeah, there it is. Well, this is handy to diagnose solar panel problems. Wow. All right, makes me wonder how much power I'm losing from that one cell. All right, so I'll, I have only that one panel connected. The only problem is right now there's a cloud over the sky. All right, I think the cloud is moving from over the sun right now. Yeah, I'm seeing 270 watts. Let me try plugging in the other panel in parallel and see if we get more than double. Okay, so now we're at 550. Yeah, it looks like so far 550. So that's that's about 10 watts higher than what I should have gotten. So if I just doubled the 270, I would have got 540 watts. Now we're at 550. So I'm thinking that cell is costing about 10 watts. All right, I just uh, unhooked the panel with the bum cell. Uh, yeah, so the one with the good, with all cells are good, we got 280 watts. See that? So yeah, so I'm losing 10 watts because of that, because of that hot cell, that one cell right here that is burning power. So that's definitely something I would not have ever known without this right here. So this thing is going to turn out to be incredibly handy. Uh, like, if, you know, if you're buying used panels, you might want this guy right here. And what I would probably do is take each panel, put them in the sun, and plug them in, uh, short, short them together. So uh, plug the terminals together, and then let them sit in the sun and look with a thermal imaging camera like this and see if there's any cells lighting up. And that would tell you if you use panels, maybe some of them are bummed. We're definitely gonna be using this for testing a lot of things on the channel. Uh, actually, we can see that the inverter now over here is getting warm or as it was really cold before but even though again even though those look really hot you can uh, see that I don't know if you can see the little temperatures on the screen but it's not super hot it's just showing that it's hotter than everything else all right guys I think that's gonna be it I'll leave links in the description to this thermal camera if you like this content please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one